thing uh, loud, the darker, the louder. Darkness. The darkness of 2020 has been interrupted. It has been becoming thicker and thicker for many months. So uh, we had less and less air to breathe with. It was becoming stuffier and stuffier, more and more dangerous. Uh, more of uh, more and more of our civil uh, rights uh, were taken away from us. Uh, there were lots of provocations. So there was this feeling uh, of fear becoming more and more material. I can only tell you that uh, the beginning of the manifesto, so sorry, Polsko, sorry, Polsko, but it will be a good year. This year, I think that this year is a fantastic year. I'm very happy as a Pole, as a Polish woman, as a citizen of Poland, as an artist. I am proud that uh, we are doing uh, things that I have been dreaming of for many, many years. I was writing songs about it. I was using many metaphors to help people to make this decision. So now we are undergoing a revolution that is really necessary. So this year is a fantastic year for me. Well, these are the words of hope. Uh, this is the light in the tunnel you were talking about before. So you, we shouldn't only talk about the darkness, but you, we should also share the hope which allows us to leave this chaos, to, to, to make sure that this light is noticed in the tunnel. You are also saying that you were encouraging to take part in the revolution. You were using different arguments and of course you were using your art for this purpose. But what exactly were you encouraging uh, people to? What kind of revolution would you like to see in Poland? I'm dreaming of the uh, revolution of uh, of the of, of our approaches. Uh, I dream of uh, dividing the state from the church. I dream that my sisters, my brothers, my co-citizens should understand that to be happy, we do not need any priests, uh, presidents or God, we don't need any other intermediaries. Uh, we were talking about it uh, at the beginning of our meeting. Uh, freedom, freedom is responsibility, is responsibility and the choice. And I think that freedom is the best tool we can imagine, and we've got it. And I really believe in this revolution. I dream of the revolution that will take place in everybody. If uh, I'm going to be very specific, I, I hope that there is a mass apostasy leaving the Catholic Church declaration. So many people who don't have a lot in common with the Catholic uh, Church, uh, they are just kind in their rela relations with the Catholic Church, uh, maybe because they want to show their respect for the tradition, to have good relations uh, with their neighbors, or maybe they are simply accustomed to these relations. Uh, so they receive priests uh, during Christmas time, or they send their kids uh, to take their first uh, communion. But really, there is no deep faith. It's just like a habit. So it's my dream to be responsible uh, to make sure that we stop doing this, that we deprive the Catholic uh, Church officials of the feeling of the tools that they have any rights uh, to claim towards us. So this is uh, this is my most important dream. Uh, I was thinking about this dream in uh, the song uh, Pan jest moim pasterzem and niczego mi nie brak. 
it's of uh, utmost importance to me and I believe that this revolution that has just started will lead us to achieve this target and I think it is very necessary for Poles to become the civil society and this is my dream something which is very closely really related with this aspect is a revolution that is focused uh, on development uh, of the feeling of some uh, of some obligations as civil societies uh, we shouldn't have this uh, patriotism which is imposed on us by politicians of the law and justice party so we don't I wouldn't like to see this patri patriotism that is uh, associated with some patriarchal and nationalistic views I'm also dreaming uh, of um, having this patriotic uh, revolution and I'm very calm I, I am I'm calm. I, I believe that we will achieve, accomplish these uh, objectives because the revolution was started by young people, by by women. It's very important that the women started the revolution. It's important in the context of uh, uh, of this um, division from from the isolation from the Catholic Church. So it's very important that uh, the women started the revolution in the context of the Catholic Church because a woman in the Catholic Church, her identity, her, her main role is to pro procreate and Catholic Church has perceived uh, uh, the women the women as uh, excluded violated and used by the church so it's not surprising that these are the women who have started this uh, the, the, this anger and the, this explosion is so pure I don't want to refer to my my songs which uh, addressed uh, such a revolution because uh, well this is not what our uh, discussion is about. These three elements are of key importance to our presence. I also love that the language of the revolution is, is just wonderful. I don't know whether I should continue this contribution. I would like to address this because in your songs you are uncompromising. And you are very concrete. You are using very strong metaphors and words. And this is what we observe in this revolution, which is a woman. This revolution is a woman. So just like in your songs, you are unveiling the curtains, this uh, the, the curtains of these traditional social roles in terms of being Polish, in terms of being patriotic. In the revolution, we can see on the streets, uh, we can also witness this very strong language. So let's talk about the language because it proves that some changes are taking place have taken place. So it's not the velvet uh, revolution where we negotiate calmly. Calmly, This is a revolution uh, which uh, is resistance. It's not, it's not only about this uh, verdict uh, by the Constitutional Tribunal of Julia Przyłębska. Well, as far as the language of revolution, there are some things which uh, are re absolutely amazing. First and foremost, this is the outbreak of the holy wrath, as I call it, which is demonstrated by the fantastic slogan, fuck off, which is indispensable uh, and in Polish it is uh, the call of arms because it has the rolling R, so it includes everything that call of arms needs. 
Uh, it is uncompromising and holy to me. Perhaps I do use this word too much, but the holy wrath, which was uh, hidden deep uh, in uh, women for the centuries of humiliation, uh, keeping them silent, uh, started to sound out. This is uh, a holy thing, and nobody should uh, challenge it. And the other aspect of the language of revolution, which I absolutely adore, is the language of the people in the streets, of uh, the slogans, of the boards, which you can see. The color of this revolution is bright. And the color of the patriotism I'm dreaming about is also bright. The people whom I see in the street are provocatively enthusiastic. This is something which uh, has not been uh, observed uh, in Poland and worldwide for centuries. I dare say that apart from the revolution in the mindset, we also witness a generation change happening during the revolution. All of the symbols which uh, were worn out are going away and we need to create new symbols. And this is what the fantastic young people do. The language of patriotism that uh, uh, had been associated with suffering, with uh, uh, bloodshedding, has gone. These texts are full of humor, of joy, enthusiasm, wit. This is fantastic. I'm optimistic about it being successful. I am optimistic that the revolution will occur on various planes. It's not only about separating from the church, about maturing to become a civic society. But this is an aesthetic revolution, which for me, as an artist, is quite dear. The old system was promoting mediocrity in arts, and the revolution calls for intelligence, for fantastically sophisticated metaphors, for wit, for humor. It's something that is dear to me, and I'm awaiting it. Well, no wonder that uh, the, the, the ruling party is uh, afraid of uh, artists and the authoritarian rule, especially, is terrified uh, what the artists can do. The revolution we can see in the street and the language that the people use in the streets nowadays uh, is absolutely amazing and I'm delighted with it because it's close to artistic expression. So I'm happy. Uh, in your, uh, you, you expressed something that I do hope is going to be um, like fortune telling because your texts, your lyrics uh, uh, have been quite universal. You used the word that old system mentioning the revolution. It means that we are already building our future, that uh, the system is gone because the revolution has happened. I would like to come back to the topic of the nature of the revolution because people dance, people sing. Uh, it's with a blink of an eye. What we can see in in the boards, what that people hold, is uh, 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 amazing as far as uh, uh, the expression and culture codes uh, are concerned. It derives from the literature classics as well. But this is all about very serious matter. 
some reproach that because this is a bright dancing uh, revolution, it uh, makes the postulates uh, fuzzy or blurred. What do you think about it? I do trust two women who started the revolution, the women's strike to Klementyna Suchanov and Marta Lempart. I know uh, they are brainiacs, they are charismatic and they were the ignition points of the flame that is burning. I know that they have a clear agenda, that they are open, able to confess their uh, mistakes, their errors, such things happened during the revolution, and the leaders were responding immediately. When I talk about uh, women's strike, I would like to say that what I like about it is that the strike leaders do not claim the right to decide or to implement the postulates. This is a, a sign of uh, being mature and this is typical of uh, how women act. I don't want to elaborate on it uh, more, but I would like to highlight uh, what I have perceived. So I keep calm. I would also like to appeal or say that we should let people dance, uh, sing, jump or burst to all the emotions uh, they were uh, that were hidden over the centuries of being kept silent i don't refer to uh, females only but uh, because uh, the revolution applies to uh, other groups uh, such as uh, the lgbt group whom i absolutely love we all need an explosion and the opportunity for catharsis. The yelling, uh, the dancing is quite natural and indispensable. It's like a tribal ritual. I wouldn't to uh, stop it. I wouldn't break it. I wouldn't preach that it should be done this or that way. Because I believe in people's wisdom. Let's make it happen. Let us continue the tribal dance and then we'll be able to sit in a circle and strike a conclusion. That will uh, take us to New Poland. Perhaps this is the moment, the first moment, when we'll be able to say that we have the right, the good emotions. This is the joy of being together with other people, of dancing in the street, and that this is something which is right. I loved what you mentioned. Don't preach. Don't pretend you know you are a know-it-all when everybody was trying to say that Margot should uh, come down or should uh, behave uh, um, in a specific manner it is not we are not able to preach uh, young people in the streets uh, pointing out an old finger at them our time is running out, but uh, one last thing to mention is the culture. This is a wide notion, a wide term. This is the area which is uh, close to you, but this uh, area of our life was hardly hit by the pandemic and its effects. It applies to the situation of uh, 
uh, of culture as such, but to people of culture representing artists, uh, managers of culture, uh, uh, librarians, uh, and so on and so forth. The situation is dramatic. People are calling for help. Perhaps this is the time when we should uh, experience a breakthrough and understand that we are not able to survive without uh, culture. But for culture, we will not be able to uh, carry out the revolution because we need to write uh, some slogans. That's a difficult and painful topic. My role uh, as an artist during the revolution is essential, is basic. We need to survive protecting our sensitivity. So I would like to call or appeal to everybody to understand different uh, standpoints. You can be socially useful, useful for the for the society, not only trotting in front of the group of marching people during the strike. We need to survive despite uh, financial problems, despite having the sense of being uh, uh, being redundant, but but of being disrespected. We need to survive. We need to protect our sensitivity, not to lose that sense of um, feeling that we have the power. Once the revolution is over, we'll need new symbols, because similarly to any other revolution uh, will definitely devaluate the language we have used in the art so far. This is what is happening in the streets now. Some symbols disappear, the language is changing, and the world after the revolution will desperately need excellent new songs, books, poems, operas, uh, performances, because the language we have used so far is no longer sufficient. So dear friends, dear artists, do everything you need to survive. Don't let others persuade what you're supposed to do. Protect yourselves, keep the light that we will soon need. Let's work on the new symbols, new language, new signs, because the new has already arrived and we have to face it in the art as well. Excellent point to close our uh, our discussion. We're going to come back to culture for the next two days during the Freedom Games. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, feel invited uh, because this is a fundamental issue, especially in the context of this year's uh, title of the Freedom Games, The World After Pandemic. Maria Peszek was my guest. Thank you for your virtual visit. Thank you very much uh, for the invitation. Greetings to everybody. Thank you very much. That's it uh, from us uh, for today. Uh, our train has arrived. Uh, it's uh, final station. We are looking forward to seeing you tomorrow and on Sunday. Good night.